is if your Canon software is not working on your computer, so maybe you installed it already from a CD or something like that, and just has everything grayed out or one of the parts grayed out, don't worry about it, there's an update. Right now, just go to canon.ca or canon.com, doesn't matter which one you go to. Um, I just want you guys to go to that website, first of all. Then right up here, you guys will see support and drivers. So just go right into there, and you guys should see this. So right now, you guys should choose consumer and home office. Okay, so just choose that first option. Um, it should load up faster than me. I'm just uploading a lot of videos and that's why it's kind of slow. Anyways, uh, from there, just going to driver software and manuals. So click on that option. And there you're gonna put your, whatever you guys have. You have a Canon 7D, Canon T5i, or so on. Just put it right there. So I'm just gonna put it an example right now. It's like a 3, 3i. It's actually the same software that you have for your Canon T3i, then your Canon T5i, and so on. So I wouldn't really worry about this part that much, as long as you type something in there. And uh, just make sure it's a model that's close to the one that you have, okay? Um, so, just gonna wait. So once you type something in, you might see something like this coming up, whatever camera. So we're gonna put in, just double click on that, click on go, something should pop up, okay? From here you select your OS, so right now we're in El Capitan, and that's why it's not working for you guys. So just click right here. Uh, same thing, if you guys have a Windows computer, it's the same thing, just choose your Windows computer. Okay, whatever you guys have, Windows 10, Windows 8, just choose it from that list. I'm just gonna show you the list, so here's Windows 10, just make sure to click on the right one, whether you have a 64-bit or not. Uh, so make sure what you guys have to install the correct one. Not saying that this will not work if you have a 64-bit, but it is better that you do the right thing, okay? So let's just do this for now, El Capitan, which is for Mac. And from there, I want you guys to download this. So see this, this second option? Just click on this and you guys download it. You guys can click on every single thing and download everything. However, if um, you guys are just using this to control your camera and just to download images, then this is good enough. But you guys can download everything else. That's fine. It's good to update anyways, your software and your computer. So right now we're, just, we're gonna click on it. And from there, sometimes it will ask you for your serial number. So that's on the bottom of your camera. We're just gonna click agree. And once you have that downloaded, it's gonna be something like this. So it's not right here at the moment. Okay, so it's downloading right now. So we're gonna let this download for a second. It shouldn't take that long, really. Um, right now, for me, it's taking long, just because, like I said, I'm uploading a lot of videos, but it's gonna be done momentarily, like right now. Once it's done, it's a DMG file, so make sure it's DMG right up here. So we're just gonna double click on it. And, if you have old software installed on your computer already, that's canon, don't worry about this, this will update it, so you're fine. Then let's open it up. Once you guys have this installed, then you can plug in your camera and everything should be fine. We're gonna choose, you guys can choose US, Canada, whatever you guys want. I'm gonna choose US, actually, my bad, my bad. I shouldn't have chosen US, but it's the same thing anyways. Um, so I do want these things, so let's install them, yes, okay, and anyways, once you guys have this installed, it will work, okay, 100%, it is just an update, um, Canon usually takes a long time to update their software, so I would never ever, um, when something else comes out, a new OS for your Mac, don't just update it automatically, okay? There's a bunch of apps that will not work, and that includes Canon, always. Actually, always Canon has problems with the new OS. They're never ready, and they take around two to three months to update their software, get it working. So just be patient, and then update your OS on your computer before doing this. Um, this is basically the last step. All you guys have to do is install this, Again, uh, this will take a little bit of time for me just because my internet's not so fast right now. But for you guys, it should actually be done by now. So once you do guys do this, it's all gonna be working. If you guys still have any problems um, with your utility, don't worry, um, just look at your dial on your camera. 
Now you might be on manual mode or on automatic. So just switch it up, okay? If it's on automatic right now, choose manual and then it's gonna work. Um, and if it's on automatic, choose manual and then it might work, okay? Just by changing those that dial on your camera, um, whatever's grayed out right now on your utility uh, won't be grayed out anymore, okay? So once you have this installed, you don't really have to restart your computer. Sometimes, with really old computers, you do have to restart your Mac, but this is a small update, so you won't need to do that. Um, anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here below in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.